the NASCAR parade brought out thousands of people to downtown Joliet. What do you like best about this car behind us? Uh, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch it race? Huh. Uh, it's fun to watch and when you race, it's real fun. But no, these are my two sons. We bring them to every race and we have fun and my wife's over here and my daughter. We bring uh, all the girls and friends and let them partake in the fun. I'm here with Rocky, who is the owner of this car behind us. How are you today? I'm good. Could you tell us a little bit about this car? Okay, this is a 1971 Mustang uh, Nostalgia Funny Car. This car was actually built in 1971 originally. I resurrected it again about 2008. Uh, it's got a Chevy motor in it, which some people find uh, unusual, but back in the early 70s, they could have any kind of motor. You know, Ford could have a Ford motor, Chrysler, Chevy, same with all the brands. They called them wacky racers back then because they were a different brand motor than body. Um, we're running um, with the Great Lakes Nostalgia Funny Car Circuit. We run from pretty much from here to the East Coast. Uh, various tracks. We just came back from Martin, Michigan last weekend, uh, weekend before in Bristol, Tennessee. We've been to Canada. It's been quite a few different places. So you drive this car that's next to us, correct? Yes, I do. So where do you drive this car? Uh, Grundy County Speedway. Um, I've actually only been in this car for about five times. Um, I've done two races in it. I've raced for 18 years though. I've done go-karts, late model stock cars, midgets now. Um, just a new step in my career. It's uh, it's fun. I'm looking forward to a full season next year racing it. Is this your first time coming to the race? No. Well, how, how many times have you been here? <laughs> this is my third time coming down for Race Fan Rally. Third time? Third time. So can you tell us a little bit about your car? It's a 1939 Lincoln Zephyr. I purchased it from Alice Cooper. It was his uh, demo car for his album Dirty Diamonds. Who's Alice? Alice Cooper is a musician from the 60s and 70s, and he's probably about 63 or 4. A lot of albums out, and uh, he's an icon of rock and roll. So you've had a part in planning this event, correct? I did have a part in planning this event. I work for Joliet City Center Partnership, um, doing marketing and communication for them and event planning. This is the 15th annual Race Fan Rally. We also had time to speak to a vendor. It is our first year at the event. Yeah. So what do you sell here? Well, we do, the restaurant does a lot of, obviously, seafood driven. Tonight, we're offering a soft shell crab uh, deep fried poor boy, as well as a smoked beef brisket sandwich, and then we're doing a uh, jambalaya over, uh, over rice. Our restaurant is located overlooking the Plains River. Um, we're part of Shanahan. We have a Wilmington mailing address, so uh, just about five miles west of I-55. Can we get that full address? Address is 27425 South Will Road, and that's uh, Wilmington, Illinois. Mayor Tom Geronti and Judge Dinah Lennon Archambault stopped by. Here's what they had to say. How many years has this event been put on in Joliet? This, since the first year. The first year was 2001, and it was, it was about one-tenth the size of this. I mean, it was just like a half a barrel of beer in front of the Rialto and a couple of cars, and every year it keeps getting bigger, and now we're all the way down to Cass Street, and you can see the crowd, everybody enjoys it. So how has this event impacted the um, impacted Joliet? Well, it's great. I mean, the, well, the, they say like having a NASCAR race is like having a Super Bowl. That's how much money it brings into the economy. And if you look at all the restaurants and bars up and down the street, they're all busy serving food and some of them alcohol. But, but yeah, it really, it really helps. It really helps uh, the downtown businesses, no question about it. What is your favorite part of this race? You know what? It's seeing all the people. It truly is because I work downtown and I grew up here. Um, and it's just so great to see so many people come out. Downtown Joliet, it's just wonderful. And I'm sure having this many people in downtown Joliet is a great impact for the city. Oh, for sure. You know, we're getting new restaurants down here. You know, hopefully we'll get a new courthouse. Um, it really is uh, a really good thing for our city.